Well, how do you do to you and you and you? Hope everybody's having an extra good day this evening. It's a good to be back, Lord. I tell you what, it, you you folks know me. I'll do just about anything. Tough my way through stuff to just say hi even for a few minutes. But I tell you what's the truth, that flu boy, but it had me down this time for a while. Let's say hi to some folks. There's my flock. How you doing? Matt, that's yeah, all good, brother. I understand. Where Matt's at, it's real early in the morning. Hey, Meg, that's all right, sister. And our dead punk, how you doing, fam? Good to see you. And Crow, how you doing? Jessica, my awesome sister. Snow Leopard, always good to see you, brother. Thank you so much for coming in. And Debbie, always lovely to see you and a blessing to have you. And then also we got our awesome sister, Patty. And then we got Myers Paranormal. Some amazing folks, amazing folks right there. Snow Leopard. Thank you so, so much for becoming an awesome channel member. Looky there, looky there. James, how you doing, brother? Always good to see you. A blessing to have you, brother. And Lord, there's Janine. How you doing, sister? I make sure I ain't miss nobody. Like I said, I like saying hi to everybody. If I have, just say, hey, dummy, you missed me. <laughs> and there's my awesome sister, Debbie, which I'm going to say a big thank you to her here in just a minute. Thank you so much, Queen, for dropping them links. Let's see. Jessica, like I said, I got your new video. I got it in my saved to watch list. And then we got Chrome. How you doing, sister? Always a blessing to see you. Hope everything's going good with you. Hope everything's going good with all you folks. And there's the awesome Vodsky. How you doing, sister? Love and hugs to you. Let's see. Pankaj, how you doing? There's King Ghost. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. And Florina, how you doing, sister? And then there's keeping Appalachia. There's my awesome sister. Awesome sister. <laughs> Johnny, you going to whoop me for that, ain't you? <laughs> my awesome brother, Johnny, keeping Appalachia. Me and old Johnny, we talk back and forth just about every day. Pretty much all day long. <laughs> but one of the best friends i got in the world. Paranormal Contact. How you doing, fam? Good to see you. And again, thank you so much, Snow Leopard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless your heart for that. Sherry, how you doing, sister? God bless you for coming in. Always a blessing to have you. And good to see you. Vonita, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. And a blessing to have you. Many of you folks are watching from home. It's That's all right. It's just a blessing to have you here with us. Hey, Gail, how you doing? Well, that's all right. You're just popping in for a minute. It's just a blessing to have you. Carol, I hope you're doing good, sister. I've been watching them videos. I like that one, Superman. And there's my awesome brother, Jedi. How you doing, brother? And Spooky Appalachia. Oh, yeah. Got some good old stories. Folks, uh, the pin link for tonight is called Spook Rats. So uh, if you would... Be sure to reach your partner, grab them, show them some love and support. That's our awesome sister, Vanessa, right there. That's her and her sister's channel. I said, now, she must, uh, uh, I said, she, uh, just uploaded the video on, on her channel and on the main channel. Must be invisible. Well, I said howdy, but I'll say howdy again. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hey, Noah, how you doing, brother? Always good to see you. Lord, like I said, I hope everybody's having a mighty good day. Let's see here. Mm, make sure I ain't miss nobody. Sometimes I get in a big hurry. Somebody will slip by me. 
crossover jonathan what's going on brother good to see you thanks so much for coming in hanging out with us blessing to have you brother let's see like i said folks i do apologize hey sabrina how you doing sister it's a blessing to have you you're very welcome like i said it's it's we're all kin folk and family and like i said it's an honor to do it oh carl's got one of her granddaughters spending that with her well that's a blessing all on its own right there christina how you doing sister always good to see you yes sir I said, make sure I ain't miss nobody there. So, all right. Yeah, like I said, one thing I want to do. And now, hey, our Crow Fleming, how you doing, Crow? Good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's a blessing to have you. All right. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to back around here. So that way I don't, uh, See, you're going to make some of them wood dishes. Oh, that's good. Hey, Dana, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. Lord, there's Donnie. How you doing, brother? Stop by to say hi, my brother. Good work. God bless you. Hey, Donnie, like I said, it's it's a blessing to have you. And you like I said, you're a true inspiration to all us old storytellers. God bless you, my friend. Stay awesome, brother. And then there's Mountain Bush Crafters, old Strang Bean. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. And then there's Billy. How you doing, Billy? And CC. Lord, the folk coming in here. <laughs> it does my heart good. Oh, man. Let's see here. There's Matthew. How you doing, Matt? Always a blessing to have you. I hope I ain't miss nobody. And there's Janice. How you doing, sister? And Janine, her other awesome sister. Folks, like I said, uh, let's see there. Make sure I got everybody. Hang on. I got to give my brother a rank there. Um, there's another fella right there. I said, oh, Donnie Laws. Like I said, most of you, I'm sure most of you folks have got him, but if you don't, be sure and grab him up. Like I said, he tells some mighty good stories, too. Good old fella right there. Can't beat him with a stick. Hey, Crystal. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling better. Definitely feeling better. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Now, like I said, uh, so I'm trying to make sure I ain't miss nobody. And there's John Boy. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. Always a blessing to have each and every one of you. Let's see here. All right. Now, like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to try. I ain't, I ain't going to show my face. Like I said, I'm just getting over the flu. So... It, it's lord have mercy if i showed my old face like i said it'd probably tear every one of his devices up <laughs> hey dustin thank you so much for coming and hanging out with you, brother good to see you hi that's all right brother like i said we're all kin folk here uh be sure like i said you got that ranch now like i said you're more than welcome to drop your link if you want to hey matt you how you doing brother good to see you I thank you kindly, Janice. Like I said, there's another old mountain fella right there. I said, be sure and grab him up, folks. Now, one thing I want to do, <clears throat> see if I can make sure I can get myself out of this shot right here, is, uh, now, let's see. I might have to hide this thing here so I can get that figured out. 
Mm -hmm. Nope, that ain't it. There we go. I want to give a big shout out to my awesome sister, Debbie McWaters, for sending me these old Appalachian books. Thank you so much for that, sister. Like I said, that absolutely made my day. I've been reading on them things, like I said, like they ain't no tomorrow. So, like I said, great big shout out and thank you kindly to Debbie McWaters for that. And there's Jenna. How you doing, sister? Thanks so much for that story you sent in. Everybody loved that. And it was an honor to share your daddy's story. And there's Dom. How you doing, brother? Always good to see you. Blessing to have you in here with us. You don't want to see nothing popping in. St. Amber, where she go? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I just don't want to miss nobody. Like I said, every, I love saying hi to each and every one of you. There you are. So thank you so much for coming in. And Amber, it's a blessing to have you, sister. Yeah. Now, like I said, <clears throat> I forgot to say hi to Queen Laura. I guess I did then. Howdy. <laughs> Even though you shouted at me, but howdy. <laughs> oh. Lord, show we got 50 Kim folk in here watching. Woo, mercy me, mercy me. Now, I got an old story. I said that I'm going to be doing. And, uh, I said, I'm sure you folks are going to enjoy it thoroughly. And, uh, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it tonight, too. Because some folks that, you know, watch the live stream, don't get to watch the videos, stuff back and forth and everything. So, yeah, it'll be all good. But what's really neat about the video is the fact that uh, there's going to be an extra surprise in it with you. Because I'm doing something with our awesome brother, Jimmy, from Spooky, we, uh, Spooky, Spooky Appalachia. Like I said, and like I said, you're just going to enjoy it thoroughly. I know you are. Hey, Charlene, how you doing, sister? Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us, and it's a blessing to have you. And there's our awesome brother, Joshua. Well, but jumped on me. There he is. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. And our awesome sister, Janny. How you doing, Jan? It's good to see you, sister. Hope you're doing good. Now, this old story we want to talk about. It's called The Black Sisters. And now, like I said, uh, I had a couple folks, like I said, I've been talking about here a while back with uh, Johnny keeping Appalachia and Jimmy, too, from Spooky Appalachia. And like I said, the more I got to hearing about, you notice know, a couple of little things here and there, the more interested I got in it. And then, uh, like I said, what's really, really neat is the fact, like I said, is Jimmy from, like I said, Spooky Appalachia, he went and filmed the location. Hey, Willie Nilly. Thank you kindly for coming in and hanging out with us. Blessed to have you. Uh, like I said, he went and done some filming of this area, the area where it's happened at and what's going on, and he sent me a clip that I'm going to be putting in the video with it. So that way you folks can see exactly where it's at and what it is. Stuff. Like I said, I believe he's going to enjoy it thoroughly. Now, it says, uh, you know, this happened back in a southwest Virginia town called Christiansburg over a century ago. It said it was three sisters. And said, now these three sisters, said they all dressed in black. Hey, Martha, how you doing, sister? Good to see you.
So they drove. I said they had uh, had a an old black buggy. They you know had them pulled around, all kind of stuff. Well, now that now I said that uh, they was in they were they was at this place called the Montgomery Female Academy, Montgomery Hall. They said they was teachers and things like that. It was all girls' school. Right at the beginning of the 20th century. It said, you know, around 1860. But it tore down around the 1930s. Then there's all kinds of different buildings that was placed on top of, you know, over where the old house place was and stuff like that and things. But now... Uh, it, there's, like I said, there's another old school there. Oh, hey, that's neat, Matt. But like I said, now there's no old school that's been uh, built across the top of it. And they said that them ladies did some, I mean, just unspeakable evil practices of just, you know, real dark magic and stuff, you know. And then, uh, you know, they even took a couple lives. Now, that said that what they noticed had nobody knowed of, you know, why, you know, they didn't have anybody that they knowed of that, you know, any relatives they had to pass or anything like that. So it just seemed like they was always in mourning because they always dressed in, dressed in black and had veils over their faces and stuff like that. But now people in Christiansburg, I mean, I reckon everybody's heard the, the stories and things like that. One, you know, some, some shape or form or another about, you know, that area being haunted. And things. So you hear cries and stuff coming up out of the floor of the gym because that's where an old well used to be and stuff. <laughs> North Carolina Slim, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. It's a blessing to have you. Hope you're doing good. Well, now they said at the uh, corners of this old school, said many people was reported. You know, and you know, I, you know, people was worked there, and you know, students alike said that they be figures, you know, just like you know, darker than dark. You know, you'd see them in doorways, doors shutting, and everything, and. Uh, lights turning on and off and things like that all throughout the building. And they said that even, there's even been folks reported seeing stuff, you know, from outside the building. You know, they was outside and they was hearing and see stuff inside of it at nighttime. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Good to see you. Blessing to have you. <clears throat> and uh well said that you know back through the years you know it being all female school and stuff you know said most of them always avoided the second floor restroom i reckon they said that second floor bathroom was whew, bad stuff and said even if they did have to go in there, and I reckon they said it was only if it was just a half to situation. Hey, sister, how you doing? Good to see you. Said even then, they never went in alone. Said a lot of times, you know, they'd wait, you know, they'd get the feeling of just gloom, doom, things like that. You know. Just bad feelings, lights flickering. It said every now and then, 
it had been, you know, reported that you get a glimpse of a black elder, a black garbled, just old elderly woman glaring back at them in the mirror. You know, it said, scare you half to death. You know, said that even in, you know, paintings of the school gym and stuff and everything. Said it had, you know, paintings and stuff that had eyes that would just follow you. Well, hey. Well, Crystal, that's good to hear. And like I said, and, you know, that, that just made my day hearing that. God bless the both of you. And I reckon they said it, it was just unreal. And then, so they'd be mysterious handprints, you know, just appear, you know. Hey, Far Pixie, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming in hanging out with us. Hey, Laz, how you doing? Always good to see you. And then there's Marsha. How you doing, sister? Blessing to have you. Well, like I said, after that, you know, they said that, you know, the handprints, fang, you know, and stuff like that would just appear out of nowhere or covered in blood and things, you know. And then on top of that, they said that the school's mascot was a blue and gold demon. I don't know about you folks, but I believe I'd have tried to avoid it, Dad, if at all possible. I mean, anything is, you know, one thing is a coincidence, but, you know, I mean, come on. You know, I, I just don't believe I'd push my luck with it, you know. <laughs> just don't believe I'd do it. And, uh, but said, uh, anyhow, said that they was just all kinds of paranormal stuff, you know, just all along them areas and things. Well, not only that, it was just a school there, but also the local cemetery. It was just south. Of the old school. It's the final resting place where the youngest of the black sisters, Virginia, rests. Now it says while she was, you know, awaiting trial, you know, because of a you know, because of a murder, said she starved herself to death. And when she was buried, it said she was buried in in a black coffin that was pulled from a black hearse drawn by black horses in the black of a moonless night. And said that the stroke of the witch in her, she was committed to the grave. And then, since they put up an old tombstone, And said, she is not dead. Now, an old carriage driver who, you know, fired these old sisters around, went back when they was alive, said he'd often have to take them to, a, to this cemetery and stuff. And what was really wild about it is said he'd always have to do it at night. And said they'd I always perform some kind of weird ritual and things, you know. So they'd raise their hands and chant and stuff like that and everything. Did it all over the same gravesite where Virginia would later be buried. Now they say that even to this day, that there's three dark phantoms 
that can be seen hanging around them tombstones, especially during the witching hour at Sunset Cemetery. Uh, like I said, there is some more to it and stuff, but I'm going to save the rest of it, like I said, for the, for the video. But now, like I said, uh, that, like I said, the video is going to be really good. Like I said, because, yeah, buddy, I said, it's going to be really good. Uh, like I said, Spooky Appalachia there, like I said, he sent me a real good uh, uh, video clip of the actual school. And he's got a, over on his channel, like I said, you can actually go over and see the, the, you know, the actual school and stuff. But yeah, after the stream here, like I said, keeping Appalachia, um, he's doing a book giveaway. So, like I said, if you folks want to hop over there and everything, and... Uh, you know, just comment on his video. You get your chance to win good. Hey, Wanda, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in, hanging out with us. It's a blessing to have you. Now, here's something. I was talking to an old fella the other day. Went and done me a little fishing. First day after, you know, got to feeling better over its old flu and stuff. Like I said, got to talk with this old feller. I was telling him about, you know, said, you know, I did videos and told old stories and things like that. I told him a couple, and then he told me a couple. Now, oh yeah, fire picks. And I said, we just a, just a big old family. Don't ever stop telling these stories, brother. Well, I ain't got no plans on it. <laughs> but Joshua, I sure do appreciate you and glad you enjoy me so much, brother. Hey, Adrian, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Blessing to have you. Now, he said that uh, <clears throat> back, he said, oh, probably. Oh, he said. 20, 30 years after World War II, he said that uh, his brother had just bought a little bit of land. And said that it was in a little old valley like. Hey, Josh, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming in hanging out with us. And said that, uh, said that, you know, they had that, and you said they built them a little house down there, you know, and stuff. You know, beautiful little area. Had a little creek in it, stuff. Well, said that, you know, not long after they moved there, said one night they was laying there, and said all of a sudden, said they could start hearing this roaring, this whoa, you know. So they didn't know what in the world it was, you know. So they got up and went out and kind of looked and everything. They said, and in here, said over one side of the mountain ridge, come a big old plane, one of them big old World War II bombers. They said they just know it was going to crash because of the way it was flying so low. They said it was just topping the timbers, boy. Thank you so much for dropping that link for me, sister. God bless you. And said it would come around them old timbers, boy, and said them old, you know, them big old trees on the mountaintop, said they just sway back and forth and things, you know. Well, I said, here it come again. Yeah, and it was getting lower. It scared them half to death. Well, I said that it started getting lower and lower. Then all of a sudden, Said they, they didn't know what to do, so they just laid down right there and you know in the middle of the field there. And said all of a sudden it just disappeared. Said just silence. Said they stood up, said mostly in just confusion. Said they couldn't believe their ears. 
nor their eyes. Well, I said they got going on. Hey, Psycho, how you doing? Oh, it's good to see you. And, uh, see it's going on and on and on. And they never heard it again. Well, one evening they sat there eating supper. And here it come again. Oh, and said it was so loud this time. Said it was almost, said you could feel the vibration in the floor and, on, you know, in the table and the chairs and stuff, you know. Said even the windows was rattling a little. And it was getting louder. So I thought, Lord. And said they went out there. And sure enough, same thing. Same plane. Big old four engine come over. And said they kind of hunkered down on their knees down there, you know, right off, the, just right outside the porch area because they got out there where they seen, you know, where they could see a little bit. Well, I said they looked up there. Good night, Dana. Thank you so much for coming in. I said, it's a blessing to have you with us for a little bit. And like I said, it, he, like I said they hunkered down and everything, sat there and watched it. And again, it done the same thing. It just vanished into nothing. They thought, Lord. Well, they got to ask it around because... After that, hey, you know, I reckon it happened two or three more times. Well, they got to think, surely we ain't the only ones hearing this thing. Well, said so they got to ask it around. Said so most locals kept telling them, you know, said, no, we, you know, that's new and on us, you know, we, we ain't heard nothing. Well, I so said they got talking to an older couple who lived up on the ridge there. And so they told them, so, yep, so that's old big boy. They said, Oh, you know about it? And they said, well, we don't really know much about it. We just, well, we've seen it a time or two. And what was really wild about it is they said that, you know, they asked them if they'd seen it recently, and they said, oh, we hadn't seen it in months. And they thought that was kind of wild, you know. Said something that loud and something that big, you know. So they, they just couldn't believe it. Well, that's all right, Juan. Like I said, it's just a blessing to have you in here with us for a little while. God bless you. Well, I said that after that happened, they said it happened, oh, quite a few more times after that. And then, just like that, they said just as quick as it come, you know, it just stopped happening. Well, I said about that time, I said it was fall of the year. It rolled around. Hey, Frank, how you doing, brother? That's all right. Like I said, it's just a blessing to have you here with us. And uh said, you know, the leaves were changing, falling, and things like that, you know. The wind, the breeze was getting a little more crisp, and the air and stuff. Well, I said the path they used to go up, go down there to the creek. I said, right, you know, they used to, uh, Right across from the creek was a low, uh, big old hill like. Well, said him and his him and his wife said they went down there one evening. Said, you know, it wasn't really dark, but it was getting late in the evening. It'd be kindly darker, you know, ish, you know, on down in the woods there. But anyhow, said they went down and through there. And the day just a talking, reminiscing things, you know, just having a good old time. Well, they said about that time. Said they got almost, yeah, just in view of the creek. When they said they seen this creature, said he didn't know what in the world to call it. Said it kind of looked like an old painter. Old mountain lion, you know, like an old painter. Said it looked like one of them, kinda, but it was blurry. Said you couldn't really focus your eyes in on it. Hey, Frank, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. 
Always a blessing to have you come in and see us, man. And then there's our other awesome brother, Fluffy. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. Well, like I said, he said his eyes couldn't really focus on it. You know, and said they just stopped and just stared at it, you know, because they didn't really know what to do. Couldn't figure it out. And, well, I said it. They turned around and started to go back to the house after their feet got to working with them. Which, now, if it had been mine, like I said, it, I'd probably took off running and passed whatever it was. <laughs> Anyhow, I said they turned around and headed back towards the house. Well, I said that as they was going back, you know, I said they kept, you know, recalling what they seen. And they said one thing that they noticed. Hey, Kyle, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming in and hanging out with us. See, one thing they noticed is that he seen what seemed like a painter, like I said, going up the side of the, the hill there. Well, she said she saw what looked like a light brown, almost a tannish kind of color, kind of like a deer light that was coming down the hill. And said, so, you know, it just... You know, they couldn't figure out why they saw two different things, but yet they saw it at the same time. You know, so they just couldn't figure that. Yeah, Fluffy, we definitely do, brother. And, uh, so they, you know, so that just, just, just really couldn't figure it out, you know. All right, Crystal. Good night, sister. We love you bunches. Get some rest. And, uh, well, I said after they, you know, got back to the house, and, you know, like I said, that was just blowing their minds and everything. I said a few days later, I said they kept hearing something knocking on the back door. I said, I woke them up one morning. You know, it's the sun literally just peeking over the old ridge up here. And then pop, 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 pop on the back door, you know. And they said, it weren't just like an ordinary knock. They said, no. They said, this right here, said this almost something like, you know, like an emergency or something, you know. Well, I said, he, he jumped up. You know, hollering, you know, hey, you know, who is it? You know, what's going on? Hey, Fluffy, I sure appreciate it, brother. Love you bunches, man. <laughs> yeah, Joshua, that's for sure. It did. Well, said he, said he run back there and everything, said he yanked the door open, said there weren't nobody answering him when he was hollering. Well, said he'd do that, said he yanked the door open, said as soon as he did, nothing. Just a crisp, cool air. So for some reason, he just got a chill over him. I said he shut the door back and locked it back. And the first time it happened, he just thought it was just maybe it might have been an animal, you know, old critter or something or other. Well, it's a day or two later, same thing. Pop, 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 pop. Around the same time. Yeah, thank you so much, sister. Like I said, I never dreamed I'd ever hit 400, let alone 4.5. Okay, I said, that's all thanks to you, good folks. All you amazing kin folks. It's blessed me. And like I said, I'm blessed just to have you And I uh, said that happened several times. So he finally got to where he ignored it one morning. Well, said it stopped. I so said, he laid back down, started to go back to sleep. Said, so then he started on the window behind him, right above their head. Oh, said, so this is, mm, scared him half to death, worried him half to death. So he's about afraid to look. 
Hey, Frank, I sure appreciate that, brother. It said that. Hey, thanks so much, Kyle. Sure appreciate that, brother. Dom, I appreciate it, brother. Sure enough do, man. Oh, Patty, thank you so much, sister. Vosky, thank you so much, sister. And you just as just as amazing as I am. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Love you much, sister. Um, all right, Fluffy, I'll take you, brother. And uh, Fonita, thank you, sister. Well, I said when that happened, said it scared him to death. Oh, said he was, oh, just scared him. Said he finally woke up enough, roused up enough courage to look up. Well, when he said it, you know, so when he did. All right, Dustin, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us, brother. It was a blessing to see you. Well, said, as soon as he did, oh, said, he looked up there and said there was this thing looking down at him. Oh, thank you so much, CC. You don't know what that means to me. Said that it just... He couldn't explain it, so he literally couldn't even put it into words. You know. Matthew, thank you so much, brother. And said, but said it scared him half to death. Oh, thank you so much, Pixie. Said it scared him half to death, you know. And said that he looked down there and said it was just so he, he couldn't even bury it, pulling his head back up and under the cover. Well, I said that evening, he told his old lady, he told his wife, said, we're moving, you know. And said, and said she agreed, said she weren't going to argue with him. <laughs> hey, Kyle, that's awesome, brother. Jedi, you're awesome, brother. And, uh, Hey, right, thank you so much, brother. I sure appreciate that. And boy, folks, like I said, there's nothing right there extra good and exploring with Fluffy. If you ain't got got him, be sure and grab him up, show him some love and support. I said, as well as everybody else, Kyle and everybody. I said, I love you. He's got some amazing channels. And uh said, well, I said they moved out and stuff. Well, I said after they moved, I said it weren't just a few years later, they thought, I wonder if that old place is still there. Well, I said they go back around there and said it was, but said they never said they didn't stay or nothing. Oh, bless your heart, Janine. And said, uh, Hey, Mama T. My family from West Virginia, Kentucky area. Have you ever heard of the Lady Cliff Walker? No, no, I had never heard of that. I'd have to look into that. That sounds interesting. Well, it's a blessing to have you. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. And, uh, said, uh, they didn't, they didn't, you know, hang around for a while. You know, for long. Well, after they left, you know, they run into a couple of people they used to know up at the store, the little store up there, and said they was talking to them, you know, and they asked them how they'd been, things like that, you know, and they said they told them, said, well, now that you've moved out, we can tell you. They said, they said, not long before the war, said there was a coven of witches lived there. And said that, uh, hey, Josh, I sure appreciate that, brother. God bless you. And said that, uh, said they lived there in that area. And said when the war broke out, said they do uh, spells and stuff like that and everything, you know. They said it would, you know, it was to help the war. And 
they said they conjured up all kinds of stuff and done all kinds of crazy things, stuff like that in that area. And so they told us, well, why in the world didn't you tell us that to begin with? So they told us, well, you know, just from the things we've seen, you know, it was just, weren't really nothing that was, we, did, we didn't think it would be anything that hurt you. So we never said nothing. So, lo and behold, there was a whole lot of stuff that was going on there. But they never know it exactly what. But you know, it does make you wonder exactly what it was that them things said he saw, because he said that he could, they couldn't even put it into words. Uh, one of the things he said they saw uh, that looked like a you know an old painter, you know, or some people call it a panther, but we call them here in the mountains. We call them a painter. Said that, uh, but it kind of was blurry like or something. Said your eyes couldn't focus on it. And again, they said that, you know, uh, he said that whatever that thing was, I was looking in the window at him, you know, over by the head of his bed, you know, whatever that was, you know, he said that he could even put it in the, uh, words to describe what it looked like. Hey, AD, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. And, and Lord, there's my other brother, Road Hog. <laughs> how you doing brother it's always good to see you it's a blessing to have you oh ad like i said folks he's another one he's right there he's getting closer and closer to one k so if you ain't got him be sure and grab him up let's help him get there <laughs> yep sure enough brother but like I said, you know, things like that happen. And then who knows? Then again, it may not have had nothing to do with them. You know, it might have been something else entirely. You know, these old mountains and things like that has got a whole lot of cave systems in it that ain't even been explored. So, I mean, Lord only knows what roams in them from every time, you know, every now and then. Hey, that's awesome, Crow. You know, it's like the ocean, you know. A lot of folks talks about these ocean monsters and creatures and things like that and stuff. Well, you don't ever know. You know, they say that, you know, we've explored more of the earth and, you know, the land than we have the, the you know, the oceans and stuff, especially down toward the bottom. So there ain't no telling what's in there. You have any Mississippi River lore? No, I haven't really heard much about the Mississippi River that I can think of right off. Shoot, yeah. Born in South Williamson's, Kentucky. Well, shoot, yeah, brother. My folks come around Lewisburg. Lewisburg, good deal. Dale Barton, West Virginia. Or as most folks call it, West Virginia. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, there's, I don't know. Like I said, there's just so much stuff. Because, oh, not only that, uh, Oh, yeah, Jedi, you sure can. Like I said, I love hearing stories from all around. It don't have to be Appalachian. Like I said, I just love hearing old stories. Um, but, yeah. Um, Vanessa said, it's funny you mentioned about, about the caves and tunnels over here in Fort Clark. I keep getting the evidence pointing at tunnels and caves underneath which I think is causing even more stuff. Hey, now, it's very possible because, you know, not only that, and, you know, deep down in them old caves too, you know, there's a whole lot of uh, stone and things like that that can hold energy and things like that and stuff. So, I mean, you never really know, you know, what's down in there. And, uh, yeah, definitely. The Megalodon, you don't ever know. I mean, never know. <laughs> that's all right bro this i had two arms full of cat for five minutes <laughs> i 
Oh, shoot, yeah, Dom, send me that. I definitely want to hear that. Like I said, uh, I'm uh, speaking of which, folks, uh, I'm going to be starting up a new series here. It'll be a series of live streams. Uh, one series is uh, going to be, um, it's going to be uh, me and uh, keeping Appalachia. And uh, where we go live on Saturdays and we just uh, reminisce, talk about, you know, the good old days and how it is mountains, some old, tell some old stories and things and invite some other folks, you know, from Appalachia, up, you know, talk about the mountains and stuff. And so we got that coming and that'll be on Saturdays. And, uh, and then I'm going to start another, another series that's going to be called Appalachia next to Ken. So what that's going to be is where people can submit stories, you know, from all over the world. You know, because, you know, even if they ain't Appalachia, you know how it is with us, you know, us old mountain folks, or even if you're like the mountain folks, you know, if we love you, you're kin folk. And even if you ain't Appalachia, you're honorary Appalachia. So, like I said, send them stories in, folks. Like I said, my email's been scrolled up there. And like I said, hey, you just send me stories of good times, bad times, you know, the, you know, hard times how it was in the old days, the old, you know, ghost story, you know, old Hank story, whatever. Now, as long as it's family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, yeah, it's, like I said, I really, uh, I really blend. thank you folks are going to enjoy it. Like I said, I got some real good folks going, like I said, uh, be sending some stories in. It's already been talk. I've already been talking to you about it, and uh, uh, John boy, I sure appreciate that, brother. God bless you. And uh, like I said, me and Johnny, like I said, we we got some stuff planned too. So it's like I said, we 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 gonna have a whole mess of good stuff going this way. Like I said, I'm excited about it. My story is Jerry spoke to spoke a southern accent to me. I had my coffee. My response was, "Say what?" <laughs> <laughs> Lord Joshua, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> oh Lord, oh man! But like I said, yeah, send me them stories in. Like I said, I, I love hearing them. Yes, I wasn't born there, but my folks are from West Virginia, Tennessee. Made my way back to West Virginia, exactly. Three years from the day my grandpa left with those mountains in your blood. Uh, they will, sister. That's what I've told a lot of folks. You know, these old mountains, they'll call to you. And, you know, people can leave the mountains and move off, you know. It's like the old saying, you know, you can take the people out of the mountains, but you can't take the mountains out of the people. Them old mountains will call to you. Hey, that'd be awesome, Josh. That'd be a blessing. All right, Slim. Have a good one, brother. Yeah, I'm fixing to get off here in a minute myself. But like I said. She said, if I could ever talk, I got that Southern Tennessee born. Hey, shoot. Yeah, sister. Well, welcome back. <laughs> good to see you. Both sides of the family, West Virginia. Shoot, yeah. Like I said, it's. Like I said, it's. It's. Like I said, I got. We got a whole mess of good stuff coming. I've been planning this for quite a while. And uh, like I said, me and my brother Johnny, I said, keep an apple at you. Like I said, we've been uh, talking back and forth and, you know, like I said, making some some plans and stuff and everything. So like I said, you folks are, you really going to, I believe you're really going to enjoy it. <laughs> I appreciate the love on my corny joke. Well, Joshua, I tell you what, them corny jokes makes my day. I look forward to every one of them.
Yeah, when Slim popped in a while ago, it said uh, NC, uh, NC Slim. Well, when I first looked down, I seen he had changed it, but I just glanced at it, and I thought it said NCIS Slim. <laughs> hey, Diva, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. Oh, no, Jedi. No, I won't be able to make it this year. I was hoping to, but... No, I ain't going to be able to. But I do encourage everybody else to go, like I said, because it's an amazing it, it's an amazing experience, and you get to meet some amazing folks. Jaguar, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, it's a blessing to see you. And that's one thing, too. Somebody actually mentioned to me the other day. He said, said, Jared, I love your stories and getting on there and talking to you live and things like that, you know. He said, but I noticed during your live and stuff like that, he said, there's so many people, you know, showing each other so much kindness and love and support in your chat. He said, it's, 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 she said, it's, it's unlike anything else on YouTube. I said, yep. I said, that's, that's, that's the way we are. That's what I aim for it to be. I like that on here. I said, we're just a big old family. <laughs> hey, Jan, thank you so, so much, sister. I sure do appreciate that. And there's Randall. How you doing, brother? That's all right. Like I said, I and like I said, them notifications are. Phew. I'm like I said, I've I've been getting them here lately for folks and everything. It says this person's live and that person's live, and I'm like, all right, good deal. I hop over there and it says it's the replay because they was live about two days ago. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's right, Jaguar. Because we're all family here. Hey, Gina, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. It's a blessing to have you with us. Yep, same here. Hey, Leah, how you doing, sister? Good to see you. Glad you popped in. Always a blessing to have you. Yep. We all doing good, brother. We all together, and the Lord has blessed us with another day to spend a little time together is the way I look at it. But yeah, like I said, uh, uh, my sister has them on a CD. How can she get them to you? During, uh, now, from a CD, I really don't know. Hmm. Now that I really don't know. I ain't too good about technical stuff. Um, what was you gonna say? Uh. But anyhow, folks, like I said, uh, I'm gonna hop off here, and yep, hey, same here. Like I said, it's just. Another, another day of blessings to be with you folks. Everything. Absolutely, brother. Tomorrow ain't promised. Like I said, so that's one reason why. You're, you're absolutely right. It ain't. So, like I said, that's one reason why I love taking every single chance I get. Sometimes I'll do a pop-up live. Like I said, I'll get bored or just, you know, if I, somebody else cancels a, a stream or something, I'll take a chance, hop on, and see how you folks are doing. Hey, I sure appreciate it, brother. But yeah, folks, right there is the link Johnny's telling you about. You head over there right right there, grab that link there, and um, 
you can uh, leave a comment for a chance to win a book. And uh, like I said, I've seen it and everything. I said, that's, that's a good one, too. I said, you folks ain't going to want to miss that. Definitely ain't going to miss out. Don't want to miss out on a chance of that. And now. Uh, And one thing too, somebody else that's on the road to one K is one right there. It's Queen Laura TV. So like I said, if you ain't got her, be sure and grab her up and show her some love and support. Like I said she's uh, got a mighty big heart and shows a whole lot of people a lot of kindness and love and support and things like that. So. I said, if you ain't got her, be sure and grab her up and show her some love and support. Yeah, he said, make sure it's on the the thank you video when Spooky South book video. And like I said, there's a link at the top up there at Spooky Rats, which is another, like I said, that's her awesome uh, sister Vanessa right there. It's her and her sister, like I said, doing a uh, really good stuff right there. So, like I said, they got a lot of good stuff coming. Just dropped a good video. So, be sure to grab them up and show them some love and support. <laughs> Flora said, you're going to be in with a chance to win a date with Cletus. <laughs> Law. Joshua says, Queen Laura is definitely living fresh. Queen Laura is amazing. Laura is the stuff. Shoot, yeah. I want to train. Thanks so much, Eska. So are you, sister. I said, so, so many of you folks is some amazing creators. I mean, I've seen this come off with stuff that's, I think, wow. I mean, it just literally just blows my mind to how creative, you know, it is. And, it's it's just amazing and a blessing just to be able to watch them. Cletus says the Ernest P. World on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. <laughs> so, yep, so I can be out this week. Shoot yeah. Well, folks, like I said, I appreciate you coming in, hanging out with me, and putting up with me for a little while. Um, like I said, I love each and every one of them from the bottom of my heart, probably more than I'll ever know. I always have you in my prayers, and shoot off and throughout the day, I'll sit and just wonder what you is doing. I hope you are having a good day or evening, things like that. Grow you too. They said, man, they said, just, it was a blessing to have you in here with us. And I said, if you're watching from home, thank you so much for coming in, hanging out with us for a spell. It's a blessing to have you. The Lord bless us with another day and bless us with another little time to be together. Well. I said, Will Kitchen's on the next round. Well, I love you bunches. God bless you and your kin. And have a good one.